Now, where I'm at on the F-14, just want to give you guys basically an overview uh, and what I have to do if you're going to do this and you're going to install these plates that Dustin is making at Raven Rock. Um, um, basically, this whole assembly right here has to come out and so I, I wasn't sure how to get it out because you know I've, I've watched Rich Baker's videos and uh, I just I didn't really see him take this out I don't believe so anyway that being said you have screws that are here 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 let's see let me get over here 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 and then you have screws in this L bracket here, underneath the BEC, and right here. And then the same thing on this side. All those are Phillips head screws. Okay, now, once you have, well, damn. <laughs> okay, so once you have undone all of that stuff, all the screws are out. Now, this whole assembly right here can be lifted up and taken out because you're going to have to disassemble these screws right here these hex head screws that are in here because they have nuts on the back of them so in order to get these existing plates off you're going to have to take out these sets these hex head screws and put this these pieces of hardware back to this plate okay so now what I'll show you is just like Rich Baker did in his video, guys, I came around here and I traced Dustin's plate. All right, and then I went in here with a blade like this, just like Rich said, and I used as well a X-Acto knife, okay? I traced out the outer perimeter with this, and then I took this flat blade and I laid it down flat and I put my finger on it and I cut underneath here the same thickness as this plate because the factory plate is the same thickness guys as this plate okay so that being said I remove these sections that I cut out so you guys can see exactly what we have here and uh, what it looks like with all of these pieces of the puzzle out okay now as you can see now we have all of this cleaned out hogged out area in here where the new plate will now rest with this piece and these two brackets attached to it there's also a piece of plexiglass underneath here uh, I guess just to make things bite better um, again not really sure but uh, the new plate does sit well down in here with if I leave it so I feel like um, I'm going to keep it in there and uh, just kind of go with it um, so that being said as you can see if I come in here now and I lift this whole plate everything comes out we'll take this plate off and then all of these other components and this servo wire right here will come out as well guys this is a gear wire to our gear servo that'll come out and it will go through this hole right here and it'll feed right back through there perfect size to get it through no problems and then this plate as i said will sit right down in where the the factory plate was just like this everything will fit down flat and smooth see how nice and flush that is and then these pieces will bolt right back to this plate so i'll get to that so stay with me and uh, i'm gonna keep you going right here with me the whole time and uh so i may talk i may not talk um but uh either way um yeah we'll get this done so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move all these pieces out of my way because you've seen that Okay, 
And another thing I had to do, guys, just so you'll know, let me move this plate out of the way. There was a carbon spar that came that comes right here, and there's one under here. This one, I believe, is okay. This one had to be cut off, and this little box right here had to be ground down and cut off as well, too, because that's what held the end of the carbon rod. Um, here's the piece that came out of there, and I just basically took a little angle grinder on a Dremel, and I cut that out, and then I... Same thing, I ground that down. So all that's good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble this whole end plate off of this, off of these L brackets, and we're gonna put Dustin's plate on here. So hang with me and uh, we're gonna start on that now. So let me move some things out of my way. And I'm just kind of babbling. And yeah, we got Motion RC playing over here uh, from today's show, guys. Um, I didn't get to watch it live. Sorry about that, James. Uh, so when you see this, um, you'll understand. Uh, so we're gonna take this off right first. And um, let's see, I'm gonna get my dish back up here where I can put everything in. So I keep up with everything here. And yes, I have already loosened some of these things here, guys. That's why they're already a little bit loose. You see that plate comes off. Lay that over here. This piece here will come out from the back side. And uh, then all of this has got to come off with this plate. So we're just going to swing this around out of our way. So what I'm going to start with now, guys, is I'm going to look let's see i'm doing this real time guys so work with me here bear with me don't say oh you shouldn't have done it that way i'm looking here too guys so uh okay so what i'm gonna have to have now is a very small and i mean very small this might work uh let's see here if this will work on these nuts back here well you gotta be able to Okay, so I'm gonna undo this first, guys. That'll give me this. That's the other gear servo. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And we're gonna leave it over here. Yeah, that gives me a little more room to work. Um, I could unplug a lot of this stuff. I just, I don't want to yet because I don't, I don't know where everything goes. That's not the right size. So I gotta go up one size. So it's a number five, obviously, guys. Number four is too small. So the number five should work. Uh, if I put it on here, let's see. Nope, it's gonna be even bigger than that, guys. Number six, trial and error. Isn't that what it's called? Yep. Well, dang. Number five, back in there. Number four, let's try six before I even stick it in here. Yep, so number six, guys. So we're gonna put that in there like that. And then we're going to take our hex driver here and uh what i think i'm going to do first guys is i'm going to try to i want to go ahead and get this plate off of here i just think it'll make my life a lot easier um and uh go ahead and get that done uh shoot well there we go and these are lock nuts on the back of here guys so again you know how that works so we're going to take this one out. There's that nut. Well, and that's what I hate about doing mess like this. Okay, so we're going to take that one out. Put it there. Let's get this one here out next. Put this in here. You know, I'm, I'm almost thinking that this is too big. I'm going to go back to the 5 and try it again and just see. No, the 5, that's too small. Hmm, um, let's see. 
And you know, the weird thing is, don't tell me it's not metric, because I just don't believe that. Um, let's see here. What have we got? Let's try. This is a... What is that, white? I think that's going to be too small. Yep. Okay, let's go to this one. Perfect. All right. Well, that's it then. So, give me this. I believe that's what I need, isn't it? No, that's not what I need. Well, okay, I'll tell you what, let's just put that down. Let's just go back with this here, put this on here, this on here. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease, fellas. All right. Yeah, much, much better. <laughs> Man, are you kidding me? <laughs> Try to keep everything together, guys, and it's just a pain. I'm telling you. Try not to gouge your mess up and mess things up and this and that and booger it up. It's just it's crazy, right? Getting there, guys. One more of these, and we'll have this plate off. And then we can uh, start on the other side. But I've got to get all these pegs off of here, too, guys. That's going to be fun as a toothache, too. So. All right, guys, so there's that plate off. So now what we've got to do, is we've got to take all these off and put them back on our other plate. <laughs> so we'll take, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm doing the one at a time so I know where they go. So this is going to go like this, just like this. Okay, so this plate actually goes on the other side of the plane. And you guys may say, well, how do you know that? Because of the chamfer on these plates. So now that my screw heads can recess down in there, so this plate actually goes over here. So what we're going to look at now is we see we have one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we have one, two. So this rod will go on this hole. So we're going to take this like screw here stick it up through there and we're going to put this rod is it threaded all the way through yeah it is hmm guess it actually has to be right okay so let's hold that tighten that one up okay so that's one let's get this one here done Alright, well, 
it's slow going guys but we're getting there so bear with me i'm sorry this takes a while i'll probably speed some of this up so you don't have to sit through it but i am recording by myself tonight uh my buddy was supposed to come over here and film with me tonight but something came up for him and he couldn't so uh you guys give me such a hard time about not getting my stuff done so i'm trying to to work on stuff and get it done for you guys and get out some videos and um i know rich had already done his plane but he hadn't put dustin's in and i figured well i'll go ahead and do a series on this and put some of these videos up for you guys so you can kind of see what we're doing if you want to ever do this i mean guys i'm gonna tell you I mean, some people say, oh, I'm not going to spend $100. You know what, guys? Dustin's got a lot of time machining everything into these parts, man. And then you get the battery tray, too, and shipped for 100 bucks. I mean, guys, come on. <laughs> you can't really beat it, you know? So, um, I'm just, I'm pretty impressed by it myself. It's a lot of work. I mean, but you know, this, this is part of modeling. It's fun. Um, we all enjoy what we do. And, um... You know, at the end of the day, this is what makes the, the hobby fun, you know. Um, so, now we have this plate off and we have this one somewhat ready to go. So, if we come in here, now again, like I say, we've got to attach this back to our uh, pieces here. So, but what I want to do first, guys, before I do anything, is I just want to lay this down in here and look at it real good. Um... I'm going to get everything out of here that uh, could pose a problem and get that slid up in there. Make sure all my holes line up and they do. Make sure everything looks nice over here and it does. We've got a nice, very nice flush finish here, guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's fitting very nicely. I like everything I'm seeing. I'm trying to think if I might want to take this down just a hair more, maybe. I know the screws are going to pull it down a little bit more. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plate out. Take it out here for a second. I'm going to lay this one back in here just for comparisons to see if maybe yeah I mean that's uh, sitting just as good as mine is so yeah I don't see a reason that should be an issue there everything there looks nice yeah I mean from what I can tell guys um, I'm looking pretty good I don't want to have to take this thing back apart again you know so I'm just double checking everything uh, holes are lining up there um, I got a little bit of a lip here but that's okay because that's the factory and Dustin's plate looks the same way i'll show you again um i don't think that carbon rod there is causing me a problem uh shouldn't be and besides i really don't want to get rid of that so yeah so if we line up everything i mean actually i've got a little bit less of a lip there than i have with the factory plate so i'm thinking we're going to roll with that fellas I really am. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this side off, guys, and uh, stay with me, and uh, I'll bring you back to once we've got both of these on. All right? All right, guys. So we're back, and uh, just want to give you guys a rough overview of what we have got done last night. Um, actually starting to work on this some more today. Uh, I'm going to go fly some today as well. Um, but anyway, we've got Dustin's plate mods in, guys. Um, fitting really nicely in here. I've got to get the T-nut in here, pulling this down. Um, this is a, it's a lot of work, but uh, it's worth it. 
Um, I do not have the front end glued in yet, guys. Um, this is just sitting in here, uh, just kind of fitting everything with dry fits. Um, pull the canopy out here, set it over here. All right, so I'll show you what I've got here is, uh, as you can see here, guys, um, I've got, let me get this camera right here for you. I've got uh, Dustin's nose gear mod in here as well, guys. And uh, that is a super, super nice addition, I think, to, well, almost any plane. Um, went in pretty easily. I did a couple other things to it. Uh, let me pull this off and I'll show you what I did here. Pull this out. All right, so um, let me get my servo tester and I can show you better what we've got going on here. Um, I'll get the gear doors open. Let's see. Let's plug this in. That's the rudder. We don't need that. Uh, all right, so let's get the gear door open first. Turn this this way. Okay. All right, so we've got that open. Now, I'm gonna lay this right here. We'll unplug the gear doors. Plug in the gear, put the gear down. Well, I may not have to do that. Let me just look here first and see. Okay, yeah, we don't have to do that. All right, so what we got here, guys, I don't know if you can see this real well or not. I'm gonna try to hold it where you can, get this down in here. Um, I put wood, there was a void in here, uh, hope you guys can see that. I cut a block of wood and stuck it in there and then I put wood down in here too to reinforce this side plate over here. I'm going to stand this gear up real quick, I think I want to do that, see if you guys can see this a little bit better. Um, this was just something I wanted to do, uh, I just like having as much reinforcement in there as I can have, um, just to you know strengthen all that plastic and everything uh, let's hook this up gear coming down all right and now now if you guys can see I just want to get this camera right here where I can see what I'm doing all right so now if you look in there guys you see what I'm talking about I've got wood reinforcement as I said, there was a void over here in this tray and then down this side. So I went in there and cut some wood blocks and fit down in there. Um, and uh, it's just going to reinforce all of that, guys, and strengthen any of that plastic even better than what it is from the factory. And I believe anything you can do to reinforce something, the better off you're going to be, personally. Uh, and it's pine so it doesn't add a lot of weight uh, so yeah just thought I'd show you that so I'll put the gear back down here uh, let's see servo tester gear down all right and now I'm gonna unplug that and plug in the gear doors and close those get them out of the way and then uh, there we go closed all right so now it's just a matter guys uh on this front end here of sliding this back in that is getting on my nerves big time sliding this back in and gluing all this in here so um another thing i did i'll show you guys as well um i came in here and uh this is the battery tray that dustin makes as well um, you've got to go in here and uh, you've got to clean out the rear compartment back in here for this tray to slide back into here guys. So as you can see that slides all the way back to this bulkhead back here. Okay now also i went in here and i trimmed out all this so that when you put in this is a six thousand um if you put in a six thousand pack 
you can see how nicely now that this will slide into here and just give you a nice fit in there and then when you pull this strap tight uh, you've just got a really good fit I'm gonna route these wires down along the side as well get rid of those a little bit so uh, so yeah that's just a really that battery's not going anywhere guys it's just a super nice fit there um, and so as I said I'm in dry fitting uh, the canopy uh, this piece here that's got to go up in here we got to get that in there um, and get all this front end glued up so it's getting there I uh, got to order my receiver um, I may put a just a stand-in receiver for now just to get some things working I do have a couple of six channels so um, we'll go from there and uh, I'll show you what I got as progress takes place thanks guys all right guys so just another little modification that I've done here uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things um, this is something that Chris Wolf the RC geek did to his f14 and I really liked it so um, I did it on mine um, we'll zoom in for you guys here as you can see this was a void of nothing and you can see the whole wheel and uh, I just didn't I didn't like it um, so I watched Chris on his video and um, got me a piece of balsa I cut it and uh, yeah so still got plenty of room in here um, and I'm going to be putting different wheels on here anyway guys there is a large spacer as you can see down in there so um, that'll be coming off as well but um that just really just a little things like that another thing uh, where the t-nut that Dustin sends with the i-beam for the plates goes um, I just went in here really carefully guys and uh, I cut out the piece of foam uh, square block as Dustin told me and just removed it carefully and then just put it back in and uh, foam tacked it back in and then um, this paint color um, that I'm using comes from Walmart and uh, this is the bottle and the brand it is called Timeless Gray um, hope you guys can see that it is a uh, Apple Barrel paints 50 cents a bottle guys and uh, this bottle will last a long time so timeless gray and as you can see I painted the piece of balsa there I painted that plug there that I took out and um, it's it's so close guys I mean and this is gonna be up underneath the plane so nobody's ever gonna see this um, and uh, this way I didn't have to go back in and didn't have to spackle and things like that so that just really helped a lot and same thing here um, just made a big difference with filling in that hole that was there you don't see the whole wheel now so uh, yeah I really like it so um, okay where are we well I think I'm gonna start putting the nose together um, I showed you that so we'll get started on that and uh, see where we go stay with me <laughs> 